Good morning, Wildcast. Today is January 14th, International Kite Day. I'm Colin Yarbrough, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For any students interested in middle school track, there will be an informational meeting at 4 p.m. on Thursday, January 16th in the Media Center. If you have any questions or would like to participate but cannot attend the meeting, please see Mr. Drake, Coach Eller, or Mrs. Lambesser. Sign-ups for high school track and field will be tomorrow during power hour in the Commons area. Seniors who received advanced placement diploma applications must return the filled out applications to guidance by January 21st. New members of NHS need to stop by Ms. Lambesser's room 4205 to pick up information concerning NHS. Senior Devin Thrush is looking for donations to help cover the cost for her cat's life-saving surgery. She has a GoFundMe page set up titled, Help Save Calvin. Any help is appreciated. Now to Joshua Lopez with a story on Miss Lawson. If you've worked as an attendance clerk for 27 years, you might have heard the most bizarre excuses for being late. One person that can relate to this is soon to be retired, Elaine Lawson. Lawson has worked as an attendance clerk since September of 1992 and at West Shore for 13 years. I remember there was a girl, it's been many years ago, but she, wherever she was driving from home, she had to pass a pond where there were ducks. And so she would be late a lot because the ducks were crossing the road. And she was afraid to get out to make the ducks move on, so she just waited for the ducks and was late to school. And of course, there's always the ones that come in with their Starbucks in hand because they've stopped at Starbucks on the way to school. And there were some boys, and still are some boys, who will come in and say they were fighting dragons, and that's why they're late for school. <laughs> Mostly they come in late because they overslept. They probably forgot to put their alarm on. Sometimes they wake up with like a headache, they don't feel good. I'm always grateful when they come into school late and try and, you know, make it through the rest of the day if they, um, you know, woke up tired and then got energy and wanted to come in. It's awesome. This is Joshua Lopez, WCTZ News, signing off. Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of WCTZ News. This is Pretty Colin Yarbrough. Have a great day, Wildcats.